Hello and welcome back to the channel. A lot of people are trying to figure out ways of stretching their dollars in these very uncertain times. And you might be looking at the stock market. So many different ways to stretch that money, but if you're looking at the stock market, I want you to know one thing. In the stock market, it has been very clear for so very long that they are able to manipulate things. It is what it is. Many years ago, when we lived in Michigan, I used to work for a financial planning firm. So I know quite a bit, but not enough about the stock market. I do realize that uh, human involvement is definitely um, coming into play in many cases, okay? Don't think for one minute that human involvement doesn't somehow have anything to do with how the market goes. Now, that being said, I want to share this clip with you all because this is a very clear example of how people can make it legal for them to manipulate a market. But when someone else that they feel shouldn't be able to do this, someone who they feel is at the bottom, if you know what I mean, shouldn't be able to do this, then they pull the plug on it. They pull the plug. They change the rules. And it's actually going to be stated in this video. So... Take a listen and I will be right back. Hedge funds do a lot of things to make money, but one of those things is trading in the options market, shorting companies. In other words, making money when the stock price of other companies, sometimes American companies, goes down. They lose money, hedge funds make money. It's part of the business model, shorting stocks. So borrowing shares and selling them on the expectation that those shares will decline in value. Well, for the past several months, hedge funds have shorted the stock of a retailer called GameStop. People online watch this. This kind of stuff happens all the time. And by the way, sometimes hedge fund managers go on television, we've talked about this before on the show, and attack specific companies or whole sectors of the economy, hoping the value will go down and they can profit from it. That's pretty ugly. Very ugly. It's very wrong. It's apparently legal, though. So people online watched all this, and ultimately they decided to act. A group of people on Reddit decided to buy up GameStop options, and that triggered a chain reaction that drove GameStop share price higher and higher and higher. As of today, shares of GameStop are up 1,700% since the beginning of the month. That means people on Reddit profited. People in hedge funds who were betting that share price would go down lost money. And that's a crime! Only people who work for hedge funds are allowed to manipulate the market, often with the help of CNBC. Normal people are not allowed to do that. Already the people in charge of our system are outraged that anyone without an official position at a hedge fund would dare manipulate the market to their benefit. The communications platform Discord has taken action against this. They've shut down the day traders claiming that they're committing hate speech. <laughs> in other words... If you do what hedge funds do, but you don't work at a hedge fund, you're a racist. Obviously. <laughs> it's just the beginning. Today, the CEO of NASDAQ jumped to the hedge fund's rescue and suggested that day trading would need to be halted. We see a, a significant rise in the chatter on social media channels, and then we also match that up against unusual trading activity. We will potentially halt that stock to allow ourselves to investigate the situation, to be able to engage with the company, and to give investors a chance to recalibrate their positions. So this seems like a really big and significant story. This is not a financial show, though. We're not fluent really in this stuff. Charles Payne is. He's hosted Making Money with Charles Payne on Fox Business. And so we're grateful to have him on tonight to explain what is going on and what it means. Charles, thanks for coming on. Hey, Tucker, you hit a whole lot of it, but let me just fill it in a little bit more because not only are these folks, uh, these uh, these hedge funds, selling these the stock, they don't own the stock, so they borrow it. Imagine you borrow a stock that's trading at $10, and then you drive the share price down, and then you buy it back for a dollar. You make the difference, nine bucks. And, and to your point, they're allowed to short so much stock. Do you know the amount of stock that was out on GameStop? Let's just say 100% of the shares that are out. Well, they shorted 140% of the stock. So, so they borrowed the same stock over and over and over the same shares and sold it into the market over. Their, their job, their mission was to drive GameStop to zero. 
zero. No one said a word on any financial network, particularly CNBC, which always lets the shorts come on and a sale, go, go to war with companies, almost voiceless companies. So what happens? Some people get wind of this. Uh, these folks that you said, uh, these, in these individual investors, they decide to buy the stock up. They start to pressure the shorts. It's called a short squeeze. And it's working. And Wall Street is losing its mind. And Wall Street now wants to change the rules of the game because a bunch of people with accounts ranging from $500 to $2,500 are taking down the billionaires. Amazing. So the options, I mean, it's a much longer conversation about whether the options market actually helps the real American economy in any way. But unless I'm missing what you're saying, when individual investors tried to do what hedge funds do every day, but to the benefit of GameStop, they're now racist for doing that. And they need to be purged from the Internet. <laughs> Well, you know, in, in any war, the first thing you want to do is cut off the line of communication. So hence, they are going to be cutting off this discord, right? They're not going to allow the communication. So <laughs> once you do that, then you start to change other rules of the game. Clearly. Charles Payne, I really appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. You got it, sir. Okay, so as you have just heard, there was a lot said in that video. Not all of the language may be clear to some of you, but the point of the matter is this. This video shows that they, higher ups, those with the money, those who, who know the system, they are able to manipulate things in their favor. Don't think that people um, who grew up a certain way didn't really apply themselves really. Don't think that everyone who is a millionaire or a billionaire earned it. That's the point I'm trying to make. Don't think that everyone who has that kind of money and wealth earned it. A lot of people cheat their way to the top. And that is very clear with what we just saw in this video. Now, of course, you have those who will explain it away and say, well, it's, it's legal. Like um, I believe Tucker Carlton or whatever his name is, um, stated at one point that uh, is, is not against the law, is legal what they're doing. Just because something is legal doesn't make it right because think about it, at one time, slavery was legal, you see. But as you see now, they are talking about changing the rules because you have people who weren't supposed to know what to do or who weren't supposed to get involved in this, they weren't supposed to do it. So now that little people on Reddit and social media got wind of something and took advantage of it, Wall Street now says, okay, we got to take a closer look at what's going on. We've got to investigate. We've got to put a stop to this and see what is going on after checking into this company. So all of a sudden, everyone wants to investigate. Now that people who they don't believe should have ever been able to do what was done. Now that they've done this, Wall Street wants to investigate. But on a daily basis, we see those who already have billions and billions of dollars getting richer and richer. And no one investigates a thing. Every so often, they appoint a fall guy, someone to take a tumble like Martha Stewart did that time. But then she's back out, back into the world, rich all over again having been pampered even in her little short stay and whatever they want to call that. It's highly doubtful that she went to the same place that um, some neighborhood person went to in terms of prison. That's highly doubtful. But I wanted to share this because a lot of people are trying to find ways to invest money, but I want you to know and understand that these markets are manipulated. This is why a lot of people lose money and at the same time that people are losing money you have someone at the top making money because they know how to pull the strings as a matter of fact they are pulling the strings on these markets and this is why they are able to stay rich and get richer while others are getting poorer is not fair, but it is what it is. This is how they do it. These are the games that they play. 
And if you are not sure of what you are doing, you can find yourself getting caught up. Find yourself getting caught up. This is really sad though to me because a lot of people, they try to do this and it turns out not to be what they expected and they lose a lot of money and you have to sit back and think about the reality of the money that you lost actually went in to inflate some other person's pocket or bank account. And usually the other person or other people are usually legal crooks. It is what it is. I just thought I would cue in on this because, you know, I see a lot of people talking about this particular subject and I just decided to check into it and see what was going on. And just as I thought, it was some funny business. Funny business just as I suspected. But um, anyway, I'm done with this story. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video. And with that, I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.